In a previous video, you heard about an object called an index path. This is an object that you'll use a lot when working with table views. An index path simply represents the location of a table view cell. You can think of it like an address. It contains a section property and a row property. Both are zero, pay, zero base, so an index path with a section of zero and a row of one would point towards a cell in the first section and the second row. While index paths are used throughout tables, you can also use them with arrays and other similar collections. In fact, the index path documentation doesn't even mention table views. It reads, a list of indexes that together represent a path to a specific location in a tree of nested arrays. So while we use index paths with table views, they can be used in other contexts. Now that we have a label on our cell, we need to customize it. Now there are several ways we can do this. But, is it, but an easy method is to assign a tag to the actual label. A label is just a number. It doesn't mean anything outside of a value you assign it. For instance, our label could have a tag of 1 or 100. It only matters when you retrieve the label. For that, you pass in a tag. The method actually returns a plain old UI view, so you'll need to do some casting to actually access your control. Okay, now we want to add some content to our table view controller. And we're going to do this by way of our label. Now the way we're going to do this is we're going to give our label a tag. And then by using this tag, we'll get the label from the cell and customize it. Now later in the course, I'll show you another way to do this. But for now, this will get us started. So what you can do is make sure you have your main.storyboard open and select the label here like so. And you want to open up your attributes inspector. And this is the fourth tab here. And you can scroll down and you're, you're looking for the tag property. And you can see it's right here, tag. And this is just simply a number. And it can be any number you want. In this case, we're gonna set it to a thousand. And that's it. Okay, now let's jump over to checklist view controller. Now we want to customize our cell. We wanna customize this label on our cell. So where would we do this? Well, the logical place to do this is in our cell for row at index path. We already got our cell and this is where we can customize it. So underneath here, I want to get my label. So here, let's give us a little space so that you can see. And we'll do an if let, and we'll just call this label. And we'll get this from our cell. And you'll see we have this method call view with tag and we'll pass in our number a thousand. Now this will just return a UI view, so we have to cast it. So we'll use the as with the question mark, making it optional, and we will cast it to a UI label like so. Okay, now inside of this block, we can now access our label. And what we're going to do is we're going to give it some text and we're going to give it some text based on the row and as you learned an index path contains both our section and our row so we can just do a simple if statement we'll do if and we'll type in index path because this is the index path that's being passed into the method and we just simply put the dot in row like so and we'll say if row equals zero we'll have the cell print out run a marathon. Now, if this is in your to-do list, that's a pretty impressive to-do list. Else, if it's not row zero, this would be my to-do list, sleep, like so. And now we're all set up to go. Let's build and run and see this in action. Here I'm opening up my simulator and you'll see that we get our first item, which is run a marathon. Because the first row is always row zero, we always start counting with zero. Thus, we're always going to run a marathon and then we'll always be sleeping afterwards.